Hey, you know what time it is? Yeah, let's talk about batteries. Well, actually not batteries, but power supplies. Let's talk about variable power supplies and why you should have one if you're messing around with batteries. Sometimes when you're harvesting cells, either from a scooter pack, sort of like this one here, or a medical pack, sort of like this one here, or the modem packs. Sometimes you're gonna get cells that are low voltage, right? That are like at one volt or below two and a half volts or something. And so you could do one of two things. You could put them aside and then try to see if you can recover them, right? So if you can slowly charge them back up. If they haven't spent a lot of time down there in the low voltage region, a lot of these batteries will just wake up and they just, you, there's nothing wrong with them, right? They didn't degrade enough for them, for you to be considered them useless, right? Now you have the choice to do that or you have a choice to just, you know, get rid of them, not use them, not attempt to salvage them. And, and I wouldn't fault anyone for taking one of those decisions, right? But if you wanna check them, then you're going to need a way to slowly bring those cells back up. Here's another scenario. And I will use this one as a, as a prime example of why you also need to do this. This battery is made out of brand new cells. LG M36s, right? So these are really expensive batteries, really cool. They're a 3,500 milliamp hour, so they have a lot of energy density in them. So I built this battery to use it for a video as a demonstration, and then I just forgot about it. I just, you know, I'm busy, life, you know, other videos, other projects, and that thing just sat there. But the mistake that I did, I left the BMS connected, right? So the BMS is there, see those lights? So that screen uses energy, and it just drove the battery low. And so this brand new, this, this battery pack with brand new cells, right now is sitting at a low state of voltage. I just measured it and it has eight volts in here, right? So that is another reason sometimes you might want to try to bring up a battery pack because it's brand new and you spend quite a bit of money and work and effort to get it there, but you made a mistake or you were careless and you just let it get below the safe voltage, right? Now, if it didn't spend a lot of time down there or if it got there really slow, then sometimes these batteries are recoverable without much, um, you know, without, without much degradation. Right? Uh, another reason why you might want to get a variable power supply is because even if you have the charger, some of these chargers come in a variety of, of uh, voltages. And the way they do that is sometimes they'll detect, they have a range of voltage, right? Uh, like the 12 volt, it'll be like from 10 to 13, right? But if it's below that, then it, this charger will not come on and it will not start charging your 12 volt battery. If it's below, you know, 20 volts for a 24 volt or something like that, maybe this will not trigger on. And so even though you have the, the charger to, to save this battery, right? Cause you just forgot last night or, you know, a few days ago to turn off the thing and you let this discharge over discharge, then you know that you can bring it up, but maybe your equipment, your charger that you usually use to charge that battery will not work. And so those are scenarios why you need a variable voltage power supply. These are, you know, these are the new breed of them, but traditionally they were a bench tops power supply. They were like little white boxes with knobs and dials, right? But now they're, they're coming up like this. There's a new ver these are the new versions and you need them. Let me show you, I will try to wake this one up using this guy. Okay, so here's the game plan. We're gonna attempt to charge it through the BMS and see if that works. If that doesn't work, then we'll have to connect directly into the, uh, the terminals of the actual battery, right? So bypassing the BMS. But because this is already connected, right? And it's got an input right here. This is the load. So we'll have to go through this one right here, the small one. All right, so first I'm gonna connect the power supply. What voltage is? We need to be somewhere around 29 volts. That's the max 
that a 24 volt battery will want. So then we'll turn off all, this is the power, right? This is the, the, the amperage. So we'll turn it off and then it, it goes down to zero the voltage, right? Because if you're not pushing any amperage then. So here's the, the connector, right? Uh, I'm gonna connect it in here. So first we're gonna connect the battery and it just has enough power to, to wake up the, the BMS. So we might be in good shape here. Okay, so now I just connected the thing. I'm gonna raise up the, here we go. Okay, so it's not putting any in there. Why, let's see. All right, so no, we can't charge it. See, the va the battery keeps, now it went below uh, the voltage that it can even power the BMS, right? So we're gonna have to bypass the BMS, unfortunately, to wake this up. And that is gonna be a lot of the cases what you will have to do, right? You'll have to just go straight into the terminals of the battery. So let me, let's, let me connect that cable here, and then we'll try it again. All right, I have now connected uh, this connector right on the terminals. We're going to connect it now. And see, what I've done here is I put both male and female so that I don't have to worry about finding the right, you know, gender on the cables, right? Um, here we go. There we go. So we know that that battery is even lower than eight. It's at five, right? So we'll start bringing up the amperage. Okay, so it's like, look at that. So 100 milliamps, 200 milliamps going into the battery and the battery very quickly is coming up in voltage, right? But you're just doing it slowly, right? That is the reason why you need this because you need to do it slowly. You can't just pump a bunch of amperage in there like your normal charger will do. Um, that way, if there's a problem, then on any of these batteries not waking up, then you know you will see it rather slowly uh, as opposed to you know fast. <laughs> and so 13, we're supposed to be somewhere around what? 21? And we're gonna be able to check this by connecting it here and then we'll be able to see the voltages of each, each battery group, right? But of course, if your BMS is not smart like this that has that feature, then you can use, you know, always one of these things, right? Where you can plug it in here and then just check it out. Uh, let's see, does this one say where we're at? It's probably gonna say, ooh, they're all low. So they're all at uh, one, 2.2, is there a difference? What's the difference? Oh, there's a difference of one volt. Ooh, yeah, these are way out of balance at the bottom there, right? All right, what we're gonna do here now is just gonna keep charging this battery and we're gonna, we can increase the, the rate a little bit, right? Don't go too crazy. Uh, let that number six group kind of try to recover. It's lagging behind right now. That's about a quarter of a volt, uh, 234 millivolts difference, right? As it gets higher and higher, it's gonna even out. Uh, and then maybe at the top, it'll be fully uh, balanced, right? Because this, if this was a fully balanced pack at the top, then maybe that's at the bottom is where it's gonna show any differences, right? So, so maybe group six has a few cells that are lower capacity and that's why you see uh, the, the, the imbalance in the bottom, right? And so that, that's the case, then we'll see them get balanced the, at the very top, right? So there we go, we'll just increase the rate 
There we go. Five. And by the way, it's five amps being uh, spread between one, two, three, four, five uh, cells, right? So each cell is getting about one amp. See, all this stuff would not be possible without this, right? Without the variable power supply. It allows you to do this sort of stuff and to diagnose batteries and to see if you can bring them up uh, and do all that stuff. And by the way, these are available in all kinds of sizes, right? Here is uh, like the one that I'm using over there is uh, zero to 48 volts. This one right here that goes zero to 120 volts. So there you go. If you work with batteries regularly, this is a must and your arsenal of tools that you gotta have. Either this type or the other type, you just gotta have apply variable voltage and current power supply. I wanna thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.